This Blender tutorial will show you how to make quads out of a 3D scan mesh that you've cleaned up in Blender. If we take a look at this scan in edit mode, even though it's cleaned up and we have a manifold mesh, we have lots of ugly geometry and triangles. This is going to be really hard to use in any of our parametric modeling programs such as Fusion 360. Fusion 360 has a lot of great mesh tools, but it doesn't have a really good way to make something have quads after it has triangles. So we're going to use tools inside Blender to make this mesh quads. The first thing to do if you haven't already is to clean up your mesh as instructed earlier. Once you've done that, it's a good idea to make a copy. Here in my original folder in the scene collection, I have a cleaned up copy that is duplicated. It's not a bad idea to duplicate your mesh again because then you have a backup for shrink wrap operations inside Blender. To duplicate your mesh, press Shift D. If you accidentally move it, just press Escape, it'll snap back. Then I can hide the new cleaned up mesh. In order to make this into quads, we need to select the mesh. And there are two ways. We can go to the object properties. This is the green icon down at the bottom. Select remesh, then select voxel. And we want to preserve the volume. This is basically putting a shrink wrap modifier. And we want to select fix poles. This will avoid a lot of the spirals that can happen with a voxel remesh. The next thing is to pick the voxel size. This is the size of the cube or the voxel that will be the resolution of our mesh. If I click voxel remesh now at 0.1 meters, it's going to have a very chunky mesh. So I'll undo that by pressing Control Z or Command Z. If I add a decimal point to the voxel remesh by putting in a zero, I can click voxel remesh. Now I get a lot more detail, but it's still pretty low poly. Depending on what you're doing, this may be a great option. I'm going to undo that. If I add another zero, then click voxel remesh, it almost stays exactly the same. But now if I press tab, you'll notice that everything is made of quads. It's important to note that this is not retopology. This is only remeshing. It's making the volume of this be formed and then have these quads all over it. This is great for 3D printing and then importing this into other programs to work with if those programs require quads on the mesh. So you can tweak this until you find the right number of voxel resolution that you need. Notice that the triangles here have increased almost by double. If you don't see the statistics here, just go in your overlays and you can click statistics. You can play around with the different voxel resolutions. If I undo that one and I only make it 0.1 more and I voxel remesh, You'll notice that the quality just isn't quite as good. So you can see here, if I tab in, these are much larger quads and it's down to 356,000. So if you get something where you're in between numbers, you can always add a decimal point and then make it 0 0.00015. And see, this is now in between the two numbers. And if you want to go down a little bit lower, you could always undo that. If you want to get closer to this original 806,000 triangles, you can try to change that a bit more by typing 0.14, clicking voxel remesh, and we're pretty close to the original resolution, but now we all have quads. If you have a lot of extraneous material down here that you don't need to have in Fusion 360, or you want to clean up your Blender file, you can easily do that by using a Boolean operator. In object mode, unhide the original cube, zoom out a bit, select the cube, and then scale it down. Turn on x-ray mode, then move the cube to where you want it to be. You can scale it up and down. Press S, Z to scale it in the Z direction. G, Z to move it up. And then when you're happy with what is inside the cube, make sure you check from other angles. Everything that you want to keep should be inside the cube. Before we do anything, we need to press Control A to apply the scale on the cube, then select the mesh that you want to cut, select the modifiers, add modifier, generate Boolean. In this case, we want to use intersect. The object we're using for intersection is the cube. And then you can see what's going to happen. It'll chop that off and we can hide the cube now. And we have a nice sculpture. If you don't need to do this in Blender, it's a good idea to do 
the rough cuts in Fusion because you can use exact operations, but it's totally fine to do this in Blender as well. If I apply this and then tab back into edit mode, you'll notice that I no longer have quads. And for this to be useful, I need to have quads. So I'll go ahead and run the remesher again. I'll click on the object data properties. I'll use the exact same features, tab into object mode, click voxel remesh, tab back into edit mode, and you'll notice that I now have quads wrapping around the mesh. This is now ready for export and for use in Fusion 360, 3D printing, or any other program. We should also save a Blender file of this mesh for archiving. I also have a backup without the booling. Always keep a backup of your projects so you can go back in and version. Make sure selection only is clicked and then export OBJ. Also save your Blender file so you can come back to this after you need other changes to your models. Happy 3D modeling.